Hello, friends, and welcome back to Stories About Entitled People. Our OP's boss sounds absolutely delightful to work for. Not, she sounds like a dodgy piece of crap to say the least. She wanted our OP to basically commit fraud. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're new here and turn on notifications so you don't miss a new video every single day. Here we go. Boss demanded the diamonds from my engagement ring. This happened a long time ago. I'm married now, but this was when I got engaged and my husband had given me a beautiful ring with a small cluster of diamonds. I show some of my colleagues who complimented how beautiful it was, then I show my boss. She wrinkles her nose like she doesn't like it or something, then walks away. After a while, she approached me and asks if I have a warranty on the ring. I say yes, and she tells me to remove the diamonds and give them to her, then I can claim a replacement ring. I laughed, thinking she was joking, but she looked at me straight-faced. She wasn't joking, and I told her I wasn't going to do that. Then she walked off in a huff. She used to be a nightmare, a nasty alcoholic bully. But I don't see her anymore as she now works from home. And our second story. Customer got banned from my store. So this didn't actually happen to me, it happened to my friend. But I was there when it happened, and it's constantly in my brain. So me and my friend work at a grocery store. She would open the self-checkout on the weekends, and sometimes I'd open the regular registers. The morning this first started, I wasn't opening with her. I found out the story later when a bunch of other stuff went down. But basically, what had happened was this man came into the self-checkout with a single banana and asked my friend to scan it and weigh it for him. She explained that her register didn't have a scale on it and that he'd have to scan and weigh it himself at one of the self-checkout machines. Let me remind you, there was a regular register open at this time. There may have been a line, but he wasn't forced to use the self-checkout if he didn't want to. He then got super angry and was saying how it wasn't his job, it was hers, and that she was going to do it for him or she was going to get her manager and he was going to have her fired. So my friend called over the manager and the manager told him the same thing. So the man leaves. But that's not where the story ends. The next weekend I'm opening with her and I see this man come in and walk through the self-checkout and to the back of the store. She comes over and explains who he is to me. Then we see him in the back talking to other customers, looking back at her and pointing presumably he was talking crap about her. He then comes back with my store manager, demanding that he fire her for not weighing his banana last weekend. He got in her face, and I'm pretty sure he actually touched her, which our managers banned him from the store for doing so. Apparently, he'd also been coming in all that week and trying to get her fired. What he didn't know is she only worked weekends. Last I heard, he'd apparently been banned from multiple stores in the area for doing similar things, and I just can't help but wonder where he shops now. Has plenty of time to argue with an employee, but can't do the simple and obvious thing of going to the regular checkout? What a jerk. <sighs> and our next story. Old man complains about trash. We just moved into a new house, and as we all know, we sometimes have trash we need to throw out i.e. something breaks, something we don't need, that sort of thing. The trash was put at the end of the sidewalk to our house and was overflowing with boxes, broken shutters, a broken desk chair that was reduced to just a wheelie stool, and food that went bad. While toting in boxes into the house, I see this aged man walk up to our garbage cans and start rifling through it. I didn't pay it any mind. My aunt had warned us that some of the neighbors would go through garbage to salvage stuff on a daily basis. Personally, I thought it was a bit weird, but hey, one man's trash is another man's treasure, right? Well, this old man gives the trash a look and literally complains to me as I'm grabbing a heavy box full of Christmas platters. This is filled with nothing but trash. Uh, yeah, no duh, buddy, it's called a trash can. Why do you think we threw away a coffee pot that was completely shattered with a busted button or a desk chair with support bolts that had rusted and broken half? Don't get me wrong, I'm completely on board with salvaging what you can until it's useless, but when it comes to certain things, there's no reason to try. 
This old man came up to me and started complaining to my face about the trash in the cans and saying how it was useless and that we needed to be more courteous, that there are kids that run around the neighborhood. We had just brought the last of the boxes over. I was in the middle of moving them. And this little old man wants to complain about garbage to my face? Nah. I put the box of platters on my deck gently and turned to face him. Sir, you're welcome to dig through my trash if you want, but please don't complain about what I throw away. If I throw it away, then there has to be a reason for it. Why were you even in my backyard to see my fire pit? The answer is no. You owe me. No, I don't. I just moved here and owe you nothing. He stormed off in a huff and climbed in his truck, which looked very nice, by the way. A little odd for someone with such a nice vehicle to be digging through a complete stranger's trash and then complain about it to the person who put it out to be driving. I'm looking forward to seeing more of these garbage pickers in my neighborhood if they're willing to go so far as to whine about it being what it is. And our last story. Neighbor had my brother's car towed on our property. To set the stage as players, me, my neighbor, who from here on in will be referred to as Nosy Old Bat, Knob for short, her husband, Nice Neighbor, my brother, mentioned rather than involved, and my grandmother. For some backstory, Nosy Old Bat and I live on corner houses next to a busy street, which is relevant to the story. And oh man, is this lady bordering on r slash insane people level of crazy and nosy because oh my god is she nuts. I've lived in this house my entire life with my grandmother. I'm 28 and where I live it's hard to live on your own, especially being temporarily out of work because finding work that's disabled accommodating is a pain, especially when you have asthma. I get it, but it's tiring to explain that no, I don't have the virus, I have asthma, and I can't infect anyone with my bad lungs, and nosy old bat used to watch me for a little bit when I was six until my aunt could pick me up to babysit me. This apparently has given her the mindset that she can attempt to control my life and tattle on me to my grandmother, who nowadays knows when I have company and if a friend parks in the driveway. I call or text her to let her know and ask her to let me know when she'll be home so I can tell my friend they need to move their car unless grandma tells me that it's fine and she'll park on the side of the street, which she occasionally does even if there's no one in the driveway. A non-issue, right? Not to nosy the old bat. She's been known to get up in my business and go and knock on my door and demand to know who's there and if I'm doing the nasty with those friends. I'm asexual, so... It's hilarious to me when people ask if I'm sleeping around, but it's infuriating when Knob asks this because she's nosy AF and thinks she practically owns the neighborhood due to the aforementioned corner houses and acts as if it's an HOA. It's not, thank everything, and she's in charge, as should we be, because of our house on the other corner. She makes calls on other people's behalves constantly. We're no different. Anyway, dressing the stage aside, the story of the title. All right, so my little brother is a Marine and is currently deployed in Hawaii, and his car has been on our property for a while now because, well, he can't come home and drive it since he's in Hawaii. This apparently gives her the idea to call a tow truck because it hasn't been moved since he left it. It's not even a terrible looking car either, but I guess it pissed her off that it was sitting there due to it being a car she didn't know. My grandmother's now dead truck has been there longer, but Nob knows whose it is, because she's seen her drive it. This happened between the time my grandmother and I left for Costco and the time we got home. Knob called the towing company to tow my brother's car because, in her batty old boomer logic after my grandmother went over to her house to confront her, it's been there for over two weeks and is just sitting there on our property, not hurting anything. Her husband, nice neighbor, as crotchety as he can be, was unaware his wife did this because he likely wasn't home so he said he wasn't sure when he talked to us. So now my grandmother has to call the police and the towing company to get the car back, and she is rightfully furious as am I about this because it means another towing fee that was completely unnecessary. She can't even get it until tomorrow because nothing is ever open. She was met with voicemails of the towing company not even being open either, which was bizarre before 7 p.m. 
But whatever, I don't know the towing hours since we haven't had to deal with that before. I absolutely hate Nob with a seething and unholy passion because this isn't the first time she's attempted this garbage either. She's done this on other neighbors because she thinks she can police the neighborhood because of her corner house logic. I don't care how rude this makes me, but I will not be paying that towing fee and I will not be letting my grandmother pay it. Nob will be paying that because it was none of her business to be nosing her old face into things. I don't care if you're old. You do not stick your nose in someone else's business and life, especially if the thing in question is on someone else's property. I'll take this woman to court if she refuses to pay for this because she has no right to do this. I mean, what was my brother supposed to do? Be all like, oh, hey guys, it's been two weeks. Let me go back to my grandmother's and drive my car around the block. I'll be back on Monday with all the flights. <laughs> yeah, as if his CO would allow for that just because of Nob. I'm furious, and I don't really care if the old woman doesn't want to pay it. She will or face court for her nosiness. Update. My cranky and tired butt marched over to her house. She was awake and outside and ripped a new one into her about keeping her nose in her own crap and to pay for the towing, or I was going to take it higher up and nail her for illegally having it towed. She's paying for the tow truck, reluctantly. I haven't slept. Thanks, Insomnia. You're a pal, so I have no Fs to give about being cordial or polite with this BS. Entitled people need to mind their own damn business and leave people alone. Hey, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.